everybody and welcome to a Minecraft video. Today we are going to be making things that you didn't know you can actually make in Minecraft. Now please um, ignore like everything that's behind me because... Thank you. Sorry. And also please ignore the background stuff. <coughs> go away, please. Go, go, go. I got a slushy. I got a slushy too. So, let's get on to the video. Let's go. So, the first thing we're going to be making is a penguin. So what you need for this is three black wool, since I'm actually on creative. Um, I don't really need to actually get it, but this is just for people who are on survival. Oh wait, I also forgot one, two more things. And two, so, three black, black wool, two black banners, one white banner, one acacia wood slab, one acacia fence gate, and two stone buttons. So, what you want to do first is put or black wool like this and then what you want to do is put the um the stone buttons right here now this does look a little bit funny right now because like you can't really tell what it is but then you're going to take the acacia wood slab and put it um one half like that so it's just like that <laughs> and then you're going to take the acacia fence gate and put it right here and then open it and then put black banners on these sides and put put a white banner right there so now you have a cute little penguin that you can just snuggle up with and your friends would be like they would come into your into your world or your room wherever you put this and then they would be like what is that a penguin thirsty. Okay, so on to the next build. So this build is going to be like um, a floating table. So first what you're going to need to do is dig a 3x3 three three hole. I'm actually doing this on survival because I don't really know like what um like i don't really know exactly how much so how much it is so um what you're gonna need is maybe 20 dark oak planks uh so dark oak planks spruce wood stairs quartz slabs two quartz slabs four acacia trap doors about 10 spruce trap doors i think signs and some water so dig a three by three hole um use this put the spruce spruce wood stairs in the in the like square shape thing okay that was eight eight of them um and then put stuck up two dark oak planks from the middle and then use the trap doors to go like this and try to make them like all the same way so you can go like this and then break that one. Oh my gosh I should have got some tools for this why am I so dumb um but yeah and then go like this like this like this you gotta put that one in um, the wrong way for a second. Oh no, I put one on top. This is just gonna be me breaking things. Not really, because that would be boring. But still. Um, so, do that, and 
and then break the, wait, is it all the same? Okay. Break both of the dark oak planks. Usually I just, I break here and then I'll put a dark oak plank right here. Just because I like it that way. I can fly. It's just so I, I can, so it's easier So for I, for me to, oh my gosh, English. Um, to put um, one trap door right there too, and then open it up, and put the water right there, and then, oh no, and then close it back up, and now you have like a floating water thing. I also forgot one thing we're supposed to do. You're supposed to um, dig out um, like a little hole, like a one block place. Um, you can use any block, but any kind of blocks, but um, this is just the original, so yeah. And then put your dark oak um, planks down, or whatever kind of block you're using. So really, for this build, you only need like 16 dark oak planks. Usually what I do is I break one of these. Oh, also I made an infinite water source over here so I can just get water and then it'll go back. So what I do is I um, just put it on the stairs because I think it looks nicer. I, I know, buddy. Dinner's ready if you want to come get it. I'm still cooking more. chicken and then I'm almost done okay and then I'll just put that in there and then close it all up and then you have a floating table that is just floating on water so now what you can do is um, take your quartz slabs and put them right in the middle of your table. It doesn't have to be really, it doesn't, it really doesn't have to be three by three, but I like it like that, so I do it like that. And then put an acacia trapdoor there, and then crouch and put an acacia trapdoor on top of it, and then put signs. Hold on, I'm gonna go do the acacia trapdoor. Um, so then put blank signs on the sides of them. And then, yeah, it's all done. So these are like the chairs, so they can, so people can sit and eat their dinner. Yum, yum, yum. Speaking of eating their dinner, I'm going to go get my dinner really quick. So guys, I just got my dinner. It's hamburgers with some corn. I'm gonna take a bite of a hamburger. Oh my gosh. That's good. Look how much I have left. You guys can't tell. But, yeah. I'm probably just going to cut that out. 
Okay, so that is this film. You could add more chairs. I think I already said that, but yeah, it, it doesn't really matter. So let's get on to the next build. Okay, so in this build, we are going to, I'm going to be showing you guys how to, you guys how to make um, a cat, um, like jungle gym pretty much. I just dropped that. Um, so what you're going to need is one birch fence, two birch wood slabs, two birch trap doors, four stone slabs, um, one birch wood stair, um, two signs, and per and any color carpet that you want. Um, I personally like, fav like purple the most because that's my favorite color. And yeah. So place a birch trap door down, and then on the left hand side, place another one going the opposite direction, and place it up. Then what you're gonna do is you're going to take your stone slabs and stack them up together like this. Um, then put birch wood stairs right there um, upside down. I know this, is, this looks kind of weird right now, but you'll understand it. Um, then put a birch wood slab right here, and then put two more stone slabs right there, and then put your carpet there, and then take your birch fence, put it there, take a birch wood slab, put it there, take some signs, make them blank unless you want to write something on the sides, and then put them on both sides, and then that's all done. That was a quick one. Um, so... Yeah, that's, that's what you can make. So, yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a, leave a big fat thumbs up and um, comment down below, down there, down there. And I will try to reply to as many of you as I can, saying hello, and yeah. So, bye!